Reiki Angel Intuitive Arts. Today, I am so happy to host this video conference for you and to have you join me in the Unified Heart Chakra Meditation. I'm also going to be doing a couple of angel card readings and an, a goddess manifestation reading. So you're going to want to stick around. The first thing that I want you to do is go ahead and get comfortable. Make sure that you're in a safe and, and well um, taken care of environment. Make sure that your um, body is comfortable. Make sure you don't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so sit down and relax and let's get started with our meditation. So the first thing that I want you to do is um, just settle down into your chair and breathe deeply into your body. As you inhale through your nose, I'd like you to go ahead and hold that for just a moment. And then exhale with an H. <sighs> Close your eyes and sit back. And please join me in the Unified Chakra Meditation. This meditation was originally done. It's a channeled work by Archangel Ariel as channeled by Taishira Taichi Ren. We'll call in our angels, masters, and guides to protect us and expand us as we do our meditation. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, opening my heart into one beautiful ball of light allowing myself to expand. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my throat chakra, and my solar plexus into one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. If you've just joined us, make sure your mute is on.
I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my brow chakra and my navel chakra into one unified field of light within, through, and around my body. Fuck it. If you just joined us, please go ahead and put on your mute. Oh, crap. <laughs> Who just joined Did us? Did you hear that? I'm sorry. I don't know how to do this. I'm new to this. I'm trying to figure my phone out. That's okay, hun. We've already started the meditation, so just settle in. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my crown chakra and my base chakra into one unified field of light within, through, and around my body into one unified field of light. Everybody take a deep breath. And go ahead and breathe in light through the center of your heart, allowing the light to expand. This time you're going to encompass your alpha chakra about eight inches above your head and your omega chakra about eight inches below your spine into one unified field of light within, through, and around your body. Take a deep breath. We're going to activate the wave of Metatron, one of our favorite angels, to move between these two points, allowing yourself to be a unity of light. Take a deep breath. Follow my voice into your heart. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my eighth chakra above my head and my upper thighs into one unified field of light. Within, through, and around my body, I allow my emotional body to merge with my physical body into one unified field of light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my ninth chakra above my head and my lower thighs in one unified field of light. Within, through, and around my body, I allow my mental body to merge with my physical body. I am a unity of light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart allowing the light to expand, encompassing my 10th chakra above my head and my knees into one unified field of light. Within, through, and around my body, I allow my spiritual body to merge with my physical body, forming a unified field of light. 
I am a unity of light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my 11th chakra above my head and my upper calves into one unified field of light within, through, and around my body. I allow the oversoul to merge with the unified field. I am a unity of light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my 12th chakra above my head and my lower calves into one unified field of light. Within, through, and around my body, I allow the Christ Oversoul to merge with the unified field. I am a unity of light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart allowing the light to expand, encompassing my 13th chakra above my head and my feet into one unified field of light within, through, and around my body. I allow the I am over soul to merge with the unified field. I am a unity of light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart, allowing the light to expand, encompassing my 14th chakra above my head and below my feet into one unified field of light within, through, and around my body. I allow the source's presence to move throughout the unified field. I am a unity of light. I breathe in light through the center of my heart. I ask that the highest level of my spirit radiate forth from the center of my heart filling this unified field completely. I radiate forth throughout this day. I am a unity of spirit. Take a deep breath. And just go in head and say hello to your higher self. Say hello to your higher self and allow your higher self to merge with your physical body. Fantastic. And when you're ready, come join me and be present again. Hi, everybody. How is that for you? I really love to do the unified heart chakra because I love the feeling of expanding from the heart and connecting not only up into the heavens, but down into Mother Earth. It's really important that as light workers, we remember to expand ourselves in this way. 
when I work with clients in my office doing either energy work or intuitive um, healing work, um, I often um, use this pattern of opening the heart chakra first and then balancing the chakras from the center of the heart down into the planet and up into the heavens to allow my clients to become more of a unified pillar of light, a unified um, light source so that they can channel in their own spiritual power and bring it here um, onto the planet and connecting into the planet to manifest their heart's desire. If you're interested in doing something like that or if working with me um, doing something like that, I hope that you'll join my, um, my new program, my manifestation program. You can find me on Facebook. That's Reiki Angel Manifestation Circle. Go ahead and look that up or a group on Facebook. And um, the thing that I really want to do with people is to help them really embody source. I want to help them um, sort of fine tune and calibrate so that they can live to their fullest potential. I want them to bring in their true authentic self, their mastery from the spiritual level and be able to be here and present at this time on this planet, this glorious place, in order to manifest what it is that you're here to do. Now, um, I've decided today that I'm going to do a reading with um, the Goddess Oracle deck. And I'm so excited about this because I love working with Goddess Energy. Um, there is nothing more powerful than a group of women getting together and putting their minds to something um, to clear energy. You know that. Um, Nobody tells it to you straight like your girlfriends, right? So um, today I'm going to do a goddess manifestation reading for us all, all of us here on this, on this call. And if you happen to be in a male body, that's okay. You can still go ahead and, um, and take this wisdom from the goddesses, okay? So right now I'm going to go ahead and um, get my oracle deck and go ahead and do our reading for you. All right, so when I'm doing a reading, I make sure always, um, if you're joining us late, you might not know, I went ahead and cleared my, um, my altar, my sacred space. I like to light a candle when I'm doing a reading. You can see I have my chakra stones. Um, um, I use my stones as a divination tool, and I've also got my... Um, my pendulum here in case I need to clear energy, and I also use my pendulum as a divination tool. Um, oracle reading is another form of divination, um, another divination tool, and today I'm going to be reading with the Doreen Virtue Goddess Oracle deck for the purposes of healing and manifestation. What is your heart's desire? Let's see what goddesses will come be with us today. Oh, wow, let's take a look at this. Here we go. So I have um, chosen three goddesses for us for our manifestation circle. And I just want to take a look at, first we have um, Hathor. We start out with this receptivity, okay? That's awesome. Hathor also represents sort of balance between male and female power, okay? The, um, the message that we're given here on this particular card says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. How does that sound to everybody? That's something that I know I could work on just a little bit. Um, so that would be something that I would recommend to all of you. The next card we have here is White Tara. Now this is great. If we're trying to manifest, we could not have asked for a better set of goddesses to help us um, move through and clear energies that no longer serve us. 
Why Tara says, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, um, environments, and situations. Also chemicals. So Tara is um, really about purity and sensitivity. So with this in mind, so we have this receptive space. Clear out as much space as we can. We've got Tara here who really doesn't want any clutter around, any any extra anything um you want to just make sure that you're um that you're available to receive abundance and um whatever it is that you're trying to manifest at this time so you want to make sure that you um so that you, you want to make sure that you're um using all of these energies you know i was thinking when i was looking here that um Hathor really is this Egyptian goddess, and she really is about um, the, the, um, the balance between men, male and female energy. She's um, nurturing. She, I think that she's the cow goddess, actually. You see this Isis horns up here. And I think that um, Hathor represented that, um, that energy. So when you're bringing in that energy, you may want to play around with... Um, Egyptian things or bringing in that energy um, just to see what's going on <clears throat> to ignite and to and to um, allow messages to come in Hathor really is about not doing anything really being in that space of being relaxed and just seeing what the universe brings white Tara on the other hand is about um, boosting your own enlightenment and increasing your life force energy. Um, there are many faces of Tara. Um, you may have heard of green Tara. We use green Tara when we want to manifest something or bring other things into our life. Um, but when we have um, white Tara here, we want to make sure that our um, intentions are crystal clear. We want to make sure that your physical body um, is cleansed and is being treated like a temple. It's all about um, purification and clearing out space. Because look at this other goddess that we've manifested here. So what we're doing here is we've got this fantastic Ostara energy. This goddess is fertile and it's springtime. It's like a flash of lightning. It says it's the perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Ostara is really a fertility goddess. Um, usually you see her around springtime. It represents um, Easter. It's even got her here with, um, with rabbits, and, and she's just an abundant moon goddess. Okay? So look at the, at the through line we've got here. We've got that relaxation and letting go of the of the dominant um, left brain side and getting more into that receptive and um, intuitive energy. We've got raising the vibration and increasing the sensitivity with white Tara. So um, you're gonna want to um, hone in as Hathor sort of creates the space for us to increase our intuition and our own inner knowing white Tara sort of turns up the volume on it. And then we have this fertile um, Ostara goddess over here where it's really about birth and abundance and fertility. So whatever it is that we're cooking and gestating here is about to come up upon us. And it looks like it's gonna be a pretty quick succession to me. So as long as you can get into this space, so you might want to use that unified heart chakra meditation that we just did earlier in the um, in the video cast here to um, to put yourself in into that receptive state. Then turn up the volume on your own intuition and focus on what it is that you want to manifest. I think this is great. Um, I think this is great um, for all of us, especially as we're coming into a new time of year, as we're coming from the winter and going into a new year. This is great energy for us to all draw upon. 
So I hope that um, you enjoyed that um, reading. And I also, I see that there's a couple people on the line here. If anybody wants to um, send me a question, um, there's a little chat. I think, where is the chat? There's a little chat button. I'm not that familiar with how the, um, with how the technology um, works here. But if you'd like to ask me a question or if you want to unmute your phone and somebody chime in, I'll go ahead and take questions at this time. Is there anybody who'd like to do an angel reading? I'm happy to um, pull an angel card for you. We're finished with our um, manifestation reading. But if anybody has questions at this time, I'll be happy to answer them. I don't have a question. No? Would you like me to draw an angel card for you? I would like that. I would also like to apologize for butting in. <laughs> and Are you butting in? <laughs> You're not it's fine. I couldn't figure out the Zoom thing online. <laughs> that's okay. Maybe it's new technology time. for me as well. So that's why we're calling it a pilot. Because <laughs> you can get away well, with anything if it's a pilot, if it's a pilot program, right? So don't worry if well, you good. anything, we'll go ahead. We'll do another one. But while while I have you on the um on the line here today, we might as well go ahead and do an angel reading for you as well, okay? I'd love that. Thank you. Uh, what is your name? Jerry. Jaron? Jerry or oh, Geraldine. Oh, oh, I love that name. Okay, Geraldine, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, get some my angel cards out for you. Can you see my screen okay or are you just listening on the phone? I'm on the phone. Okay, darling. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I think you're going to like it, Geraldine. <laughs> I'll call you Jerry. Probably only your mom or like uh, somebody in your wicked past. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I won't, I won't that's, that's the formal name. Yes, got it. Okay, so I've drawn three angels for you. And actually, it's so interesting because I drew three cards for you and two of them are the same angel. So that's a big clue that that's one of your, um, one of your angels that's on your team. And that angel that I got for you today is um, Sandalphin. And um, Sandalphin um, was actually, um, before he um, ascended into angeldom, there are two archangels that are actually kind of technically not angels. Um, one of them, Metatron, Metatron and Sandalphin. Right, and you got and out of the three cards that I've drawn here, um, your reading starts and ends with Sandalphin. So I just want to give you a little extra heads up that that might be somebody that you want to say hello to during your meditation time. The first card okay. that I got for you is a victory card. Definitely whatever you have been trying to manifest, whatever it is that you have been um, saying, when the heck is this going to happen, whatever, your prayers have definitely been heard and they're being cooked as you speak. Okay, so don't give up hope or think that you're headed in the wrong direction. Everything is really good. But you just have to be gentle with yourself because what happens is, um, when you're a passionate creature like yourself, they're telling me you're a passionate <laughs> You're a willful and passionate creature, Jerry. <laughs> I like it. Yes, that um, I am. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, I think that, I think that um, in, in your manifestation process, whatever it is that you're trying to cook up or what, whatever direction you're trying to go, um, you get so excited, you, um, you're like three steps ahead of yourself. So, mm -hmm. so what happens is you kind of go out into the future and you're all, yes, I see it, I touch it, I feel it, I taste it, this is what I want, it's my heart's desire, oh my God, I just, I can't believe it, it's awesome. But you forget <laughs> that the world is much slower than Jerry. <laughs> I mean, the angels are pretty fast. They're pretty fast at helping you in your manifestations and everything, but you just want to make sure that you're taking things slow and steady. Kind of like mm -hmm. they're showing me now the tortoise and the hare kind of little scenario here in my head. Um, you are operating at the speed of spirit, and your angels are doing your, their best to help you out. Um, but <laughs> 
you have to you have to take just put one foot in front of the other. This is a slow and steady <laughs> wins the race. So don't get um don't get discouraged at all because everything is really positive around this. And it's a great time for you to just be really gentle with yourself. I know the holidays are coming up here. Um, and I want to um, just say an extra message that I've got from Sandalphin here is to really surround yourself with really kind and gentle people. A moment ago, okay. I was doing the goddess cards and we got um, white Tara. So, mm -hmm. So that's kind of in the air. Um, during the holidays, anyway, everybody gets more sensitive. So just make sure that you're in a good place and you're surrounding yourself by people that you want to be with and not people that mm -hmm. you have to tolerate or be with. That's good advice. Okay. That's sage advice for all of us. Is there something I want to go back to this point, Jerry? Um, what is it that you're cooking up? What is it that you're trying to manifest right now that we need to tell you, be patient? <laughs> I mean, I'm inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. <laughs> well, a couple of years ago, I spontaneously, I listened to my gut. I opened an art gallery with a business partner. And I have recently um, freed him up for other opportunities in life. I love so that. my little shop, <laughs> my little shop is in transition from an art gallery into, I mean, it's maintaining the gallery, but it, okay, so it's my working studio. I'm an artist. I make baskets with natural materials and um, a multitude of other things. And it's my working studio and it maintain, it's staying as a gallery of co-opportunity, which means that I invite artists to hang their art on the walls with no rental fee as we do a 50-50 consignment split. And it's also a little gift shop, but I also want to incorporate, see, that's where I'm confused is I want to incorporate children. I want to incorporate fun and games. I want to start a coloring group, um, you know, coloring you know, it's the latest, greatest craze. I've been doing it for years, you know, 10 years or oh, more. I know, me too. Um, Don't you love it when they catch up to us, Jerry? <laughs> absolutely. I've, I've always been so far ahead of the curve. It's like really people, okay, <laughs> Jerry, join me. It's as fun. You're talking, I, I met you in Maui. I think I, I think we did because I know I, I did because I want to tell you something. You're ringing my bell, so now we're doing readings for each other. But I want to tell you, I have an artist friend who does Native American um, beading work yeah. and um, beautiful, beautiful prayer feathers and this kind of thing, um, and um, bags and this kind of uh, medicine bags and stuff. And when I met you, I took your okay. card. I bet you I've got my um, your card on my desk here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I it's probably a brown one. It's I, all I got a new one. Well, she's in Canada, huh? She's one of my best friends in the in the on the planet. She's in Canada, and I was so impressed. I loved your artwork, and I loved your vision. You're there in Monterey, right? Well, Carmel Valley Village. Carmel, which is, okay. Um, yeah. But I want, I want to let you know that I was out and about um, recruiting artists in Canada for your space um, <laughs> without oh. knowing it. How weird, that, how weird that we've hooked up online here and, and are doing it yeah. now because I know exactly who you are. And I love this Beautiful. idea. Let me, draw, let me draw a couple other cards. What is holding you back, <laughs> Jerry, from incorporating the kids' stuff? You're gonna have to. Have, um, you have to have some act, some music too, right? I I just need help. I can't do it all by myself, and I can't afford to pay anybody. And so I'm I'm asking some of my artists to volunteer in the shop, and that's starting to happen. Um, it, it's just a ma it's just a matter of time, really. Um, in this last year, uh, let's see. This is my third trip to Maui. I was here in January for the Wayne Dyer I Am Light, and oh, I was that's here in awesome. June. Oh, to see him. And I met him in the bar. <laughs> he went to see a girl. I, you know what? And I knew. I always knew that I would meet Wayne Dyer off the stage. I always thought it might be on the beach in Maui or on the walkway, but it happened to be at Maui Pacific Fish Company, Maui Post and Fish Company. 
he and his son went there for dinner and my girlfriend and I were sitting at the bar. And so we spun around and said hi and shook hands and talked and it was magical. And I'm so glad I had that opportunity because he's now with us in a different way. That's really powerful, Jerry. Yeah. So tell me, <laughs> but, but I want to, but I want to say one more time. Um, what is it that, um, can you please tell me what is it that is keeping you from um, doing the kid stuff now? Is that where your heart is? It kind of is. Um, yeah, I think so. I'd like to see kids playing more off screen, you know, coloring, building puzzles, um, learning to crochet or weave or you know, hands-on stuff. Yeah, text and I just, um, again, there's so much I want to do. And yes, I think the more, the more I get into it, the more, um, the more, the closer I get to the actual direction I want to go. So part of, part of why I'm here in Hawaii is just to decompress and, you know, really tune in to me and figure out, because I'm happy when I'm here. When I go home, I exhibit all kinds of behaviors that prove to me I don't want to be doing what I'm doing, but I know I'm in the right place. <laughs> and I know, I know it will become what it will become. It just has to evolve into it. And so I guess I hesitate with the kids at this point because I'm still establishing myself in the community, um, was born and raised in San Jose, Santa Clara County, and now I'm down in Carmel, and it's a little community, you know, it's out in the village, and so it, it's not Carmel by the sea, it's, it's in 13 miles from the coast, and it's a little, it's a little town that's on the up and coming, and it's, it's becoming the new NASA, because we've got 26 wineries, and it's beautiful, so I'm still kind of establishing myself and again, trying to, oh, I know where I was going. Not only is this my third trip to Maui, during this, during this year, I, I sold a condo in April that I was living in. It was on the beach. Then I bought a condo in Carmel Valley. And so let's see, I sold, I sold the condo in April. I started the process of buying the new condo in like June. And then... In July, I released my partner. And so I've been a little busy this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I do sometimes get frustrated. And I've had my friends go, Jerry, stop, look. Look what you've done this year. It hasn't been easy. Chill back. So. Well, you're so driven. I really get, you know, you're so driven and you're such a powerhouse. Um, these angels that are surrounding um, our time together here are just amazing. I've got Haniel, the passion, trust and fo um, follow your renewed passion. I also, there's some hints here about some romance. What's going on, girlfriend? Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I've got a couple um, hits on a couple hits on romance, and um, yeah, I've got my goddess cards. I've got um, Guinevere showing up, a real like kind of um, you know that Avalon kind of energy around. Hmm, interesting. No, I've been um, been divorced for several years now. Really, have not. I mean, have really been loving living alone and. <laughs> deal with a mate at any level because I'm just not ready for it. I'm getting closer to being ready. And I'm I'm kind of looking, but I really can't imagine what another mate partner oh, would yeah. look like. Well you I'm know, just I telling just, you what I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. I do see that kind of Avalon energy around. Girlfriend, you're going you're gonna to yeah. manifest anything you want. The thing is, is that you have to, um, you get bored. It Before it manifests, you get bored and you start mucking with the picture. So the picture changes. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> ringing any bells <laughs> oh yeah loud and clear <laughs> but you're so bold I, I mean you just have to be you just have to be in the right place at the right time to take action so 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 really i mean because you are not are you're loud and proud about what you're doing you're um do you feel like your business plan is nice and solid? Are you are you generating? Um, are you massively monetizing that um, studio? No. no, and therein lies part of the problem because again, I had a partner. We were running it his way. He gave nothing. Now I'm trying to do it my way. And again, there's so many different things I want to do. And um, where was I going with this? Um, God, I lost that thought. That's okay. I want to. I want to. Um, I want to jump in. Um, I love that. I want to go back to that thing that I was saying. You know, we've got Sandalfin here, and earlier in our med in our uh, meditation, we did activate mm -hmm. the wave of Metatron. Okay, that is like the right. most the gas thing that we can do if we want to start manifesting things. So I, so I just want to give you a heads up, girl. You just have to really prioritize. You really have to formulate an action plan mm -hmm. because it's all going to so come together. You have, I mean, I see you, you're like, you're, you're kicking butt and taking names. You are, <laughs> but you just have to, you, 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 you it's okay if you want to manifest all of those things. You're going to do it, but you just have to put a priority list on it instead of trying to do right. everything at once. Um, <laughs> I love your commission plan. I love your commission plan with your um, with your with your artists, and I love what you're doing over there with that. Um, I think that there are probably ways that you can monetize your space. And I think that the kids is a really great one. Um, I think that you could do classes and teach kids to use mm -hmm. natural materials and to weave and bead and do all kinds of fun things. And there could be all kinds of juicy, delicious spiritual teachings around all of that, that you could sort of subconsciously program these fabulous young artists, you know, right. I really like that whole thing. But, we want to start with um, probably creativity and fun should be your focus, right? Right, right. Well, my new card is my name. My new name is Jerry's in the Village, which is home of Kelp Creations. And on the back of the card, it it is a, a relaxed atmosphere for creative expression and inspiration. Oh my God! Why don't I live in Carmel? <laughs> I don't know. Are, I'm, I'm, are you I'm, up in the San Francisco area? No, honey, I'm in San Jose. Oh, and okay, I have I a metaphysical. Know. I have a metaphysical day spa, um, best day spa in Silicon Valley by the San Jose Mercury News, and I do. Um, um, I do this intuitive work and um, energy healing. Um, I was a massage therapist, but um, I can't do body work anymore. My body's tired. So I'm, yeah. so I'm in the same boat as you. I'm looking for therapists and, and other practitioners who want to share space because I manifested my healing center. And now I'm like, I don't <laughs> know if I want it. That's a lot of work, right? Um, <laughs> I get it. I know you do. I, I totally get that you get it. <laughs> but I love well, I would love to meet you. I would when love I, to meet when you. I come back. I want to say one more thing. You're gonna um so I used to teach um science and art things in school as an artist in schools um to children of all ages and I would teach them um craft science projects and do um Beautiful. music music and movement with kids yeah i beat my tambourine in every cafetorium in the bay area um <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So you and me are actually gonna really have we're, make sure that you connect with me on facebook um okay i i think that I, um so um, my page is you can probably find me easiest online with ask ariel and i spell my name a e r i o l dot com ask Ariel dot com okay. and Jerry I gotta okay. tell you um uh, when I met you what is so funny 
I have to tell you a story, and I've got a few more minutes here on my podcast. So, <laughs> so the podcast is all about me and you, Jerry. <laughs> Awesome. I, I know. It's our very own show. I love this. I love the way the world works. And, and I want to tell, tell you it's a coincidence on top of a coincidence on top of a coincidence, which is probably no surprise <laughs> to you. But when I met you, yeah. I thought of my friend in Canada. And I'm like, that the, the, these two have got to get together. So, um, <laughs> so I sent her all your information, but she's like, oh, I don't have my stuff online. I'm not quite there. And I'm kind of techie, so I do everything online. And I put her stuff up in a Facebook store or whatever. And I, I've been kind of doing that and managing that. She does, um, you know, farmer's markets and these things. But how I met right. her, I was doing a reading for her. And... Um, and I did a reading for her years ago, 1994, or maybe uh -huh. 95. And um, a couple years later, I was going through some stuff, and a teacher of mine said, you got to go to Mount Shasta and see this lady. Well, this is what I'm not telling you. I did a whole reading, and she's like, um, I met this lady, and she's like, oh, my God, I'm going to move to Mount Shasta, and I'm all, do it. I did this reading, and I, I saw this whole thing. I thought, oh, yeah, she's going to go. And then my friend sends me to Mount Shasta. I knock on this lady's door, and it's this lady I met at the Life Expo, and I did a reading for her. And I'm like, oh, my God, how could that even happen? And I ended up spending months and months in Mount Shasta doing all kinds of wonderful work with her um and she just turned into one of my greatest friends and and um spiritual sisters and um when i met you and you showed me your card of the work that you do it rang such a strong <laughs> bell i'm all oh my god kim has got to meet this lady and so <laughs> And I actually and you know, sent her to your website. She actually checked out your website from Canada. And, cool. And, um, <laughs> um, but we just didn't we didn't get the picture yet of how to work together. So right, right. But I but I cool. totally um, anyway. I but I digress. It's just a, it's just amazing. A little bit boggling here. But back to your. Yeah. Reading. I'm sorry to inter. I'm sorry to interject no, my story with it. your reading. Wow, that's just so weird. You're going to manifest it's all story. It's all good. And you know what? And I always have. I'm able to look back at my life, and I manifested every job I ever wanted. I did everything I wanted to do. Then I got married, had kids, did all that, and that ended in divorce. And so, yeah, it's like, okay, now where do I go? Well, now I get to be me and find out who that is. So that's kind of where I've been the last many, many years. Um, but two years ago, no, God, it's been, oh, holy moly. Was that 2012? Or two, no, it had to be 14. Anyway, I Can Do It in San Jose a couple of years ago is where I started on all this. I, I you know, I, I did the Doreen Virtue Angel Card Reader. So I'm a certified angel card reader. And I did the Angel Intuitive, which is where we met, correct? Right. Yes, here in Maui. So, um so yeah, I have all that, and I'm also studying to be a certified crystal healer. So all of this, it's all just, you know, coming to now. It's like coming to a head, and so I'm on my way. I just, you know, I just need some self-confidence in my abilities that I know I have. I just have to enhance them. Well, you know, I love that you're taking this time out in Hawaii because, you know, really there's, I, in your reading, there's like hints of dolphin. You really need to be by the sea. You can't be in San Jose. I do. You no, need, I, oh, no, you I would never, ever go sea. back there. No, I would never live in the Santa Clara Valley again. I, I get well, the willies driving over. Will you, will will you at least come visit me? <laughs> I absolutely will. I, I do have friends over there still. <laughs> Hilarious. What area do you live in? Um, my um, my spa is in Midtown, in, um, Meridian, and um, West San Carlos. But I live in Japantown. Oh, okay. Meridian and... West San Carlos. Okay. Oh, geez. My sister lives there. Interesting. Uh, that was and... my neighborhood for years and years. And then my... my um, my uh, healing center just kind of manifested itself there. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm, my manifest I'm ready, I'm ready from Valley. Version. That was my vision of my healing center 20 years ago. Now I'm, I'm working with um, some coaches and stuff, and I'm really trying to spin the business model because I always <laughs> said, if I could figure out how to make money, I would live in Mount Shasta. But as a healer, I oh. couldn't make money in Mount Shasta. You know, the population is about 5,200. Yeah. And, and about 3,500 of those people are, are healers, advanced practitioners, <laughs> and massage therapists. It's like a whole community of healing people. Um, you know? so, well, it's such a powerful center. Oh, it's awesome. I really love it there. I am. Um, I didn't feel that way in Maui and I thought that I would. Um, but Maui wasn't my place. Maybe the other yeah, island because yeah. I like the I like the climate and I like being by the sea there, but Maui wasn't the one for me. Right. Yeah. yeah yep, I get it. I no, I lived at the beach at Pajaro Dune. I don't know if you know where that is outside of Watsonville. Sunset Beach. I know exactly where it is. My mom, my mom had a house. We sold it. We sold it two years ago. But my mom had a house like a mile away from there. Yes, fabulous. So yeah, I, I've lived <laughs> We're home girls. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely, I like it. Well, I should probably let you go because you've got work to do. I don't. Thank you so much for um, thank you so much for sharing angels with me. And remember that um, sand dolphin is really really prominent here. Um, and so that wave of Metatron, you're on task, girl. You just really have to put it in order. Put it in a in a file folder or something. I know that sounds so boring. So make it a purple file. No, but I get it. Um, I need just put it, so I'll do that, you know, after just put all of your creations into um, task oriented um, things. I know they're all right. pieces of the same thing. Right. But I want you to yeah, monetize. Number one, I want you to monetize that um, studio because that beautiful piece of real estate and that beautiful thing that you created there that we want mm. to be um, making money for you and supporting you in all your um, endeavors and travels. Yes. Well, I've already told the, the, my landlady who absolutely loves me to pieces that eventually the people in the second half of the building, they will have to move out as I need that space. Not yet because I don't need it yet. I'm not ready, but that were, that's where all my healing stuff will be is I can turn that half of the space. And I told her someday I'll buy the building from her and she just laughed. And I just, you know what? I, I, I can beat it. She who laughs, laughs last, right? <laughs> That's right. It's like people, it's like, yeah, okay, Jerry. And it's like, not today. I'm not talking now. I'm not ready for it now. But down the road, you never know. And I've seen it happen in my life before. So thank you so much for sharing angels with me and all this fun stuff. And I look forward to coming to re-meet you in the flesh. When you I'm back too. In I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna check you out on Facebook and make sure that I track you on Facebook. I'd love to come see your um your studio in Carmel there. Great. I'd love to have you because it's All a great right. space. Namaste. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. Have a great day. You too, darling. Bye. Well, how exciting is that? Thank you so much, um, Jerry, for that fun and surprising. Um, uh, reading. We got so many angels there. Jerry got so much sand dolphin. So all of you who are listening, just make sure that we activated that wave of Metatron. And um, that is between the two points where um, sand dolphin and um, Metatron um, are located in your energetic field. And um, so that is a powerful creation tool. So remember, if you're wanting to manifest Call upon your angels, and don't hesitate to call on me either. You can schedule an appointment with me for either a group gathering or a um, private reading um, at askariel.com. And don't forget, we've got lots of classes. We've got our energy medicine play shops. Um, you can come to a free introduction on December 6th. Um, from 11 to 1230 at our center that's coming right up and we've got all kinds of great classes and things um, that you can see there so with that in mind I'd like to thank you all for tuning in today don't forget to tune in on Monday 
the 23rd to Mutiny Radio, Ask Ariel on Mutiny Radio. We'll be broadcasting live from San Francisco. Until then, make sure, tell your angels, masters, and guides what a great job they've done for you today. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. <laughs>